in Season 2, Episode 9 of The Mandalorian, Star Wars gets one of its biggest bombshells yet, with the return of Boba Fett. Throughout the entire episode, there are many moments when the story team continues to play with the idea of maybe he's dead, maybe he's not, maybe a Jawa stole his armor, maybe he died in the Sarlacc pit, who knows? But in the last few moments of the episode, Tamira Morrison makes his ominous return as Boba Fett. Seeing him was not a huge surprise for most of us who have been reading the rumors for weeks now, but story-wise it was still a pretty good twist considering the fact that there are multiple references to the fact that he probably had died. What's really interesting is our Mandalorian, Din Djarin, is looking for other Mandalorians to team up with to get the child back to its home. So when he gets a tip of there being a Mandalorian on Tatooine, I think every fan thought of Boba Fett. But here's the thing, Boba Fett isn't actually a Mandalorian. So why is Boba Fett not a Mandalorian? Because George Lucas says so. In fact, here's a clip of Dave Filoni talking about that very reason. Discussions directly with George, he was very adamant about um, Django not being Mandalorian, which is the entire reason why that scene existed, that moment. Um, to have the, the specificity that Django was not Mandalorian, at least not to all mech, not to those Mandalorians. So, you know, I, I think the the assumption being when Attack of the Clones came out, um, of course Django must be a Mandalorian because there he has the armor. But you know, he's a bounty hunter. Bounty hunters we showed in the series wear all kinds of armor. Um, of course, Boba Fett famously wearing Mandalorian armor. So you have that tradition of his father's son wearing this armor, but it doesn't speak to like the bigger warrior cast. Despite the fact that he wears the armor and has the insignia and the right colors, that does not mean that he is necessarily a Mandalorian. Because as we know, a Mandalorian is not a race, but a creed. In fact, Din Djarin, the Mandalorian from the Mandalorian series, wasn't even a Mandalorian to begin with. Only after he was adopted and brought into the family did he become a full Mandalorian. That being said, it's an easy mistake for most people to make. Because if you see the armor, obviously you think that you're looking at a real Mandalorian. So with Boba Fett, what does this even mean for the rest of the series? Well, obviously, Din Djarin and Boba Fett's paths are going to cross again. And when they do, be assured that there will be some type of crazy fight. Because if you think that Din Djarin is mad at the Marshal for wearing that armor, just wait until he crosses paths with Boba Fett, a non-Mandalorian who demands his armor back. It'll be quite the fight. The real question is, why now? Why is Boba Fett coming back now, as soon as Din Djarin comes back to Tatooine? Is it because he hears there's a real Mandalorian on the planet? Or because he wants his armor back? Or is it possible that he is now a bounty hunter looking for the child? One of the interesting possibilities now raised is that Finnick Shand could be friends with Boba Fett. Think about it, her being an expert assassin who's already dealt with a real Mandalorian and Boba Fett posing as a Mandalorian. This is a possible team up that would be deadly for Din Djarin. Similar to how Din Djarin has his backup with Cara Dune, Boba Fett could have his backup with Finnick Shand. Just think of the possibilities of an assassin versus a rebel shock trooper going head to head. One possibility is that Boba Fett doesn't even care about his armor. He wants the real deal. He wants the best scar. Some fans even said that Boba Fett's armor isn't even real best scar. One of the major reasons why being the dent in his helmet. So imagine if Boba Fett tried to kill Din Djarin and take his armor. It would be insane. Maybe he wants the child. Maybe he wants the real Beskar from the Mandalorian's real armor. Some of the other fascinating things in this episode include the anti-imperial graffiti we see on the streets. This reminds me of Sabine Wren's artistic vandalism, and we get to see real cage-style fighting between two Gamorreans. 
This reminds me of an old PlayStation 1 game, Star Wars The Masters of Tereshkashi. Ready? Fight! In this game, you could play as two Gamorreans fighting each other. Back on Tatooine, Pilimoto, the hangar owner, tries to buy the child. How much do you want for it? The public credits are no good out here. Shut up and take my money. I think everyone has seen how baby crazy everyone has gotten over the child. And of course, how can we forget I mean, Dragon. The Dragon, of course, brings back memories of the Zillow Beast episode from The Clone Wars. But also, there's some really interesting references in here. Specifically to Moby Dick and to Jaws. In one scene, you can see the camera do a dolly zoom on the marshal, bringing back memories of Jaws. And of course, the marshal rides a single engine from a pod racer, which is super cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please share it. And make sure you're subscribed. And as always, may the force be with you.